So in this video, I'm going to discuss the topic or whether it's fair enough not to have someone, say if someone commits a crime after crime after crime, and say sometimes maybe it goes to court and they manage to um, negotiate like a, a settlement or something like this and, and they get let off and they, and they get let off again. And, and every time they go to court or something happens, a report is made, it's always them deemed not guilty. I don't really agree with the guilty or not guilty terms because I, I think guilt saying something someone's guilty or not is a bit like asking someone are they mad or not because technically they might have a small degree of madness in them um, and therefore to to say guilt are they guilty or not to being mad you know I, I feel like there's just so many different varieties of madness that um, it would be stupid to say whether or not that that someone is guilty or not in that and I think crimes are are in the same way you know. Um, it depends on the, the variety, the scale of it, um, and whether or not they knew at the time. For example, if you sleep with a 17-year-old, did you actually know at the time that you were sleeping with a 17-year-old? That's that's the question. Um, and technically guilty or not, you are guilty because you did it, but you, you didn't do it because you didn't know you were doing that. So um, it's, you know, guilty or not, it is silly. But with the Jepstein execute, apparently they there have been times where they'd gone to court and nothing was done about it because I saw a documentary today that, that said that you know that they had lots of reports and and lots of complaints and yet the authorities did absolutely nothing um, and then after like 20 years of him doing this I guess the number of the people that complained built up and then suddenly they they slapped what would have probably been a 30-year sentence on him and does that sound wrong you know for someone to say have massages from 16 17 year olds you know it is a crime it is a wrong but a lot of people probably knew that he was doing this and they didn't see it as a problem. And I, I'm not too sure, you know, I, I can't say exactly what happened. I'm sure because every session is different. And, and just because someone does offer sex, that doesn't mean they offer it to all of them or they're doing it all the time. Or maybe it's just a one off. Maybe it's they got a huge amount for it. And, and you know, it's just it's very, very like it's not just one one thing. If someone if, if someone has a, a massage with a set with sex that doesn't mean that every single person who uses that same masseuse is offering the same is getting the same stuff from them so it's it's really difficult but you know it, it is like having a cleaner and you know that every week say on friday every friday they steal 10 pounds out of the money jar that you have in the kitchen or something you know so it's like having a cleaner and you know that they're stealing money off you at the time, you kind of don't see it as a problem, you know, they're, not, they're getting underpaid, you give this kind of like a tip, you kind of let them off. And then it's just kind of like letting them do it over and over and over again. And then after like them doing it for 20 years, be like, right, we're going to add up how many times you've done it. And instead of just saying you're, you're stealing £10 a week, we're going to say that you're stealing you know, £3,000 over the period of time. And, you know, if you steal £3,000 of something, that's quite a lot of money and that probably does deserve jail time. Um, whereas if you saw it in a different way, you know, well, why did you let it happen and stuff? And I, I think there, there might be loads of people, especially famous people or people that, you know, have a circle of people around them. You know, if there's a whole group of people that kind of know that this is happening. I guess the postal scandal, I guess, is another example where, um, you know, more and more people were getting accused of fraud. Um, and everyone's aware of this is going to court and, and more and more cases are, are adding up and and you know it, it's it's small offenses over a long period of time and and then it, it just feels weird like if small offenses are happening over a long period of time doesn't it feel a bit strange to just like say okay right this is an offense now we're going to add up every single thing you've done wrong and then just slap them with a huge sentence so the whole point of, of prison and, and justice is to stop them from you know if the crime has been committed you have you have a short time and you learn not to do it again and you know i think i think okay did definitely sleep with under, underage girls when he was like 27 30 you know if he would have instead of being deemed not guilty if he would have been deemed okay guilty but we don't really have the proof because we don't really know um you know the the um the videos we don't really know when they were taken and we don't really know the age of the girls in, in those, those videos because we don't have the dates and so we're going to say you're guilty, but we're not going to say we're not going to give you a huge fine because at the end of the day, we can't really prove it. And I think if, if they had like a system where you could put people in jail for like a month or two months and, and then you can kind of say, OK, well, we don't really know if you did the crime or not, but you've got a taster of what it's like being in jail. Now, if you do it again, 
and you know if there's evidence that you've done it then then we'll give you a long sentence because i just 30 years in jail jail is a horrible horrible place if you think about just being locked in a room i think if anyone everyone spent one night in a prison cell just one night i think they would be absolutely shocked at how really awful it is now i know you get you get the the, the dog-minded people who could probably spend five years in prison and come out and still believe exactly the same things that they they did before you know well if you need money and you have to steal you have to do it you know there's some people that can go into prison and spend a long time in there and they come out and they don't come out any different they go straight back into the crimes that they were doing before you know so i i'm aware that those people exist but i also know that there's a, probably a, a huge number of people that might not think it's a problem if you're 30 40 to sleep with a 17 year old but if you know if if they are accused of this and then just spend like one month in jail you know i feel like that one month would be so traumatizing to them that they would be like right i'm never going to do it again and you know people that get really long sentences we're talking like 10 years over you know i think if someone's getting a, a sentence that's that long the question needs to be asked, why are they getting it? If they're getting it because of small, lots of small offences over a long period of time, you know, I feel like the justice system needs to take some sort of responsibility or all the people around who were kind of aware of, of these things going on or whatever was, you know, if this small crimes, you know, lots of people would, would know or have an inkling. And, and I, I just feel like they, they, if they looked at um, why it was allowed to happen in the first place, um, then it was almost like they should take part of the blame for not stopping it, for not, and, and just to blame it on the person, the person at the top when, when almost like, like letting them go so many times or letting them off so many times, not letting them off with a caution, but letting them off just saying, yeah, this wasn't that bad. We can't prove that she was 15 or 16, or we can't prove that it was, um, you know, you, we, there's not enough evidence to back it up. So instead of letting them off with a caution, you just let them off with, you're 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 not guilty. You know, and, and I feel like if you let someone off with them, that's why the, the guilty or not guilty is really bad. Because if you let someone off, and you believe they did do the crime, but if you you have to give them, you know, guilty or not guilty, and you have to give them a not guilty because you can't give them a guilty. You know, I think if if you do that, you're actually almost saying there's nothing wrong and they can do it again whereas if you actually say you know we think you, we did do your the, the crime hence we're not going to give you a guilty or a not guilty because at the end of the day we think you did it but we don't have proof so we're going to let you off with with a caution meaning that if someone else reports this same crime later um we're going to take it a lot more seriously um and and you're you know like a, like a warning almost you know a warning because yeah it's Prison's a horrible place and to think that people getting huge long sentences for things that probably could have been avoided if only they would have been cautioned properly, you know. Um, but um, yeah, and what else have I been thinking about today? I'm thinking about the cave and some other things that I would love to know, you know, because this thing about the um, the comfort women in, in, um, in Japan, it does bother me because I want to know like how bad society is and you know I, I'm sure I, I still believe whatever happened that was that was probably the, the most um, horrific event in in the whole of human history I do believe that they were used as sort of concubines I guess prison imprisonment concubines which is really really terrible because it's, it's one thing to you know do to imprison people starve people get them to work um, but I think it's another another thing to do all that plus take some sort of enjoyment out of out of it. I mean, I think that's that's the lowest of the low, um, and I'm sure it did happen. Um, but at the same time, I know that if someone's gone through a horrible thing, you know, it's, it's horrible being R worded, um, and if you are worded three times a day every day for three years, you know, you're going to be so 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 angry that you'd easily be able to tell people that you are R worded forty times every single day. And, you know, I, I don't know if it's true or not. And, you know, I, I would like to know how, how bad people are. I mean, I think that's something that a lot of people would like to know, you know, how bad is society? And I, I and one test or that I could you could do to figure out how bad society is, you know, if you say that I, I am Christ and I have to go through some 40 day R word, like how many people, if you made out that I had been r for, for like 40 people in one night and then you tell whoever's watching 
just as like experiment, even if it's not like lots and lots of people, if it's just a small group of people. If you tell these people that it ha that has to happen every night, how many of these, how many people would actually come forward and be like, yeah, I want to. I want to participate. I just, I would love to know that question. Like it's just kind of an, an experiment, like a sick experiment. It's not actually going to happen. Um, and, you know, if you, I suppose you have to convince them that you're serious because you don't want them to think that it's like a sting just to, to arrest them or something. So um, that you'll need to do something to, um, I saw on um, 50 cents page, they had like a, what's it? Um, a, he called it, green light gang or something i don't know that's kind of i like that name but um yeah it'd be cool if there was a test I, I, we've already talked about the test but that was just something that i would like to know because i, I want to know if if what happened what the those women supposed to went is that actually realistic or or are those women just traumatized and and exaggerating you know it, it's awful to be our word three times a day and it's it's awful and it, it I, I, I'm hoping it was it was just that, and they said forty times a day because they wanted to get <clears throat> you know if horrible things happen to you. You kind of want to get as much attention as possible. So if you exaggerate how bad it is, um, you, you'd get more attention. You know, I know I know that's that is how I feel. I feel like I've been ignored for so long that I'm just kind of desperate to um to get people to to hear me. Um, but yeah, if if I, I and and then the thing about the whole drowning of babies if, if the, the the comfort women got pregnant they would drown their babies now i i don't necessarily know if that's the truth because if, if they are just concubines I, I don't know if they'd they'd actually allow them to go to terms i mean i don't really want to think about it but it, it's got me thinking the question you know if if say i had a a, a child by a surrogate in another on a, on, and then you said you give me the baby and then i'm like oh so happy and then you actually tell us the public what should happen to this baby you know how many of them how many people would would think that it would be okay to to drown my kid i i just it's a really sick question but i'm i'm sure i'm sure the public would or some people some researchers would love to know how bad people are and that's just something that i would love to know how bad people are if you tell people that i'm i'm christ and i have to suffer for for their their you know for their sake and then you get like the the leaders or whatever to just be like yep yeah, she is the sacrifice whatever the public wants is whatever the public gets and this is part of her sacrifice or whatever but really the pub the the, te the thing is at the part of the sacrifice is actually just to find out who who would thinks that this is okay who thinks that who would think that it's okay to drown a baby um just because they don't give a shit about the woman i just i i I, I don't want to believe that people are that bad. Um, I, I feel like though there is a big population problem and the downside, I, I saw the, um, there's a film yesterday um, about the guy who was saving kids, um, not J Jewish kids in, in the Nazi times, you know, and it's, it's a sad, very, very sad situation. How many people died? I, I know, or I believe I know why the real, the spiritual real pit purpose of it is, is that, there was too many people and the spirit kind of encouraged just the strongest or whoever had money and power to do such a thing to just try and kind of kill people i guess um which which would have included anyone women children babies and and it's it's a very it's, it's a horrible thing um but it if if overpopulation is causing huge amount of problems because the souls that are entering into the extended amount of people you know if they aren't good and if they are bad you know this these problems are going to happen because these the problem the people that have no no conscience or, or no you know heart they they are going to become more of them and, and they're going to be willing to to um kill people because they don't have any emotion or attachment to to people because they're not their souls are not like developed enough basically but at the same time if you knew if you knew the purpose of why it has to happen then it, then you're slightly different because you can see like the bigger picture and i and i i don't know what they were thinking the people that thought it was okay to kill others i i don't know what they were thinking did they know that that this was actually for overpopulation or, or were they just being heartless and, and stupid and and stuff so i, I don't know um but it, it, so it was a very sad film because 
he was doing his best to save people, save kids. And at the back of the mind, you, you kind of knew that they, um, they, their parents probably weren't going to survive and their family weren't going to survive. And, and then the thought of, you know, them going their whole life without parents and without family and, and just knowing that their family were murder, murdered and killed, you know, in a way, there, there was one train, we had 250 kids and, and they didn't make it, that, that train. But in a way, it's like, what would you rather be? The, the six, 666 kids that were saved, that did manage to get to England, that did were given a home only to find that you know it wasn't actually just a permanent thing it was actually going to be a full-time thing that your mom dad uncles sisters you know only to wait a very long time just to find that they're all gone because people have murdered them i think i think that's awful and then you think of the, the 250 kids that they weren't able to save that didn't that the last train got cancelled you know and it's just like <clears throat> They probably, a lot of them probably did die, but at least they didn't have to go through the long life and, and traumatic experience of, of no, having to grow up knowing your family was murdered. You know, I think that's that's a, a really whole, a really awful thing. And it's going to make you a, hor a horrible person because you would have a whole a sense of coldness towards people because they because of what people were capable of doing to your family. And so, you know, even if that's that's just what I think you know <clears throat> it's never ever okay to kill kids but at the same time if the families are, are going to just be murdered and if the children are just going to have to grow their whole life knowing that their families are murdered I, I think that's that's a sadder case you know I, I do believe in reincarnation so um but yeah I think there's it's yeah it, it is different though to um to, to different reasons for 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 why people do things what they do <clears throat> but anyway just some thoughts of thinking about